this video is to show you Promethean Active Inspire shapes and connectors. The shapes tool and connectors tool are located on your toolbox. My picture looks a little different than my actual bar over here, but the shape soles has a square and a circle on it, and the connector tool has two dots with a little arrow going between it. With both of these, um, when you select them, you get a secondary little menu that's going to pop up. With the shape tool, it's going to allow you to change what shape you're drawing as well as the color. So the pin color, which are these colors here, this is the color on the edge of the shape or the outline, and the colors over here on the right hand side are your fill colors or the color that is actually inside of the shape. Uh, the option with the X on it means that the inside is transparent, so it would only have an outline. So if I wanted to draw a orange outline with green inside square, I can now draw that. If I want it to be transparent on the inside, now I've got just an outline, and you can see the letters come through it. You can change and add custom colors just like you can when using the pen and the highlighter. If you right click on a color option, you get additional colors. You can also choose on the color wheel in order to um, pick a color that you would like to use. And then now I can, oops, now I can draw a, oh, I gotta select it, one with a purple outline. I can also use the eyedropper tool as well to pull any color on the page that I may want to use. Um, so now I can have a star with that orange outline and my yellow inside. So the shapes also have with them, some of them have different options. You can, when you select a shape, you'll notice that the object menu comes up, object editing menu, same as it does whenever you select any other object. But on the right, you have the edit shape points. This is going to, when you click on it, depending on the shape, it brings in these shape points that you can actually, actually click and change the way this shape looks. So it may not have to be, you know, you start out with a square, but you can change it to something else. Uh, with the star, you can change how skinny or thick that star is and you can change these just like you change any other tool. Once you've selected the um, shape and let's say you want to change its color, the paint bucket tool is going to allow you to click inside the shape to change the inside or if you click that paint bucket on the edge it'll allow you to change the inside edge color of your shape. The last part of this are the connectors. The connectors tool again is this one right here and what it does is it allows you to connect different points of shapes. So in this case I've got these two squares are connected via those two points. So if I move one, the other is going to move with it. The line moves two. Whereas if I were to just draw a square, two squares, and put a line between them, <clears throat> now if I move one it's not going to move the whole thing. With the connector, what you do, select the connector tool, and now I'm going to click on a point. You see when I hover over a shape, it gives me those points, and then I go to another shape and I can tell it which point is actually connected. So now those two points are connected. So this will work good with pictures as well as shapes. So this was Promethean Active Inspire Shapes and Connectors.